Hello friends, welcome back to the channel and if you are new then welcome to the channel. So in this video we are going to discuss or you may say learn overlap add method and this is from the subject called digital signal processing. So let's start the video without wasting time. Okay. So this overlap add method is another method of doing convolution between a very long signal and a short impulse response signal. So let's take a question and we will solve that question. By doing that question you will understand how it works and uh, how do we calculate the output signal. So let's take the question to perform convolution of two sequences xn is equals to this is a very long sequence using overlap add method so let's solve this question and first of all what do we write in the answer we write whatever things are given to us in the question so given data is x of n is equals to the sequence and h of n is equals to 1 comma 2 now we will go on to step 1 in which we will find out what is ls so this ls is the length of this sequence so what is the length of this sequence 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 this is 12 and what is m m is the length of this impulse that is equal to 2 now we will calculate l is equals to n minus m plus 1 so here we got n how we will get the n value we will get the n value as n is equals to 2 to the power of m so we write 2 square is equals to 4 so this is 4 minus 2 plus 1 this is equals to 3 so we got l value as 3 now in step 2 in step 2 we will form the in, uh, we will form more signals here that is x1 of n x2 of n and so on and how do we do that so we form x1 of n is equals to so what will be the first sequences first sequences will be l equal to 3 and the remaining will be m minus 1 padding so uh, how much is m minus 1 2 minus 1 is equals to 1 only so we will give 1 0 l minus 3 means 3 digits are going to be taken from this sequence that is 1 comma 2 comma minus 1 now we will form one more until these sequences are completed so we will take again 3 next one 2 comma 3 comma minus 2 and 0 padding now next x3 of n equal to the next ones that is minus 3 minus 1 and 1 and 0 padding now x4 of n equal to from 1 2 and minus 1 and 0 padding so here we have formed four signals or you may say sequences so using these sequences we will do the convolution with the impulse resp impulse se uh, sequence and uh, we will get the output signal so let's see what is the next step in step 3 we will take the impulse sequence that is 1 comma 2 so the impulse response is h of n and how much padding we will do l minus 1 l minus 1 is equals to 2 so we have given two zeros over here to do give the padding to this impulse sequence now we will move on to the step 4 so now in step 4 again we will follow the matrix method to do the convolution and here we will give y of n that is of order n cross 1 and uh, x of n of order n cross n and h of n of order n cross 1 so now we will form this x1 of let's take x1 of n first and again we will take x2 of n x3 of n so this will become y1 of n right now we will form the equation what is x1 of n x1 of n is equals to 1 2 minus 1 and 0 so we will write out that 1 2 minus 1 and 0 so now what we will do is we will shift these digits downward and remaining down digits will go on the top so 2 1 2 minus 1 and the 0 will go on the top 2 then 1 2 then minus 1 and 0 then again 1 then 2 then minus 1 and 0 so this first digit half came on the bottom so we will end up this matrix and we will write 
the impulse sequence that is 1 2 0 and 0 and now we will multiply this after multiplying it is a simple multiplication you can see just two digits we have to multiply with the starting two digits and remaining are multiplied with 0 only so 1 into 1 and 2 into 0 then we get 1 then 2 into 1 and 1 into 2 then we get 4 minus 1 into 1 minus 1 2 into 2 4 4 and minus 1 will be 3 0 and 1 0 0 and uh, minus 1 and 2 will be minus 2 so this is our y1 of n so we can write y1 of n is equals to 1 4 3 and minus 2 in the same manner we will calculate y2 of n y3 of n and y4 of n so I am simply writing the answers. It's your homework to calculate y2 of n, y3 of n and uh, y4 of n and you have to match it that is your answer correct or not or I have done it correct or not. So if it is correct then comment down your answers and uh, tell me that is my answer correct or not then we can learn it together right. Okay. So we have got four sequences. Now we will move on to step five. In, in step five, we will be forming y of n, that is our final result. So as the name suggests, it is an overlap add method. So we will consider these sequences from the starting one, four, three, minus two, and we will add m minus one terms. M minus one terms means m is equals to two, right? So 2 minus 1 equals to 1. One term will be added from the last of this and starting of the next sequence. So we will write this next sequence from here 2, 7, 4 and minus 4. Again, one digit from this minus 3, minus 7, minus 1 and 2. And again, from the last sequence, we will take 1, 4, 3 and minus 2. Now what we will do is we will add these. After adding, we will get 1, 4, 3, 0. 7 4 minus 7 minus 7 minus 1 3 4 3 and minus 2 so this is finally our output sequence so that's how it works that's how overlap add method works so let's recap what did we done in this explanation first we took this long sequence and this small impulse sequence we calculated the l m n values and then we made four sequences and using these four sequences we convoluted with this impulse sequence after convoluting with impulse sequence we got four y of n sequences and in the final step we added m minus one terms of this last first sequence and the starting of the next sequence and finally we got this sequence as our output so that's it for this video if you have understood everything in this explanation then don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to the channel for more such amazing videos you can check out my channel for more videos like this i have made so many amazing videos you can understand it easily and if you haven't understood it then please comment it down i will try to explain it again in another videos and that's how we will help out each other right okay so that's it for this video don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to my channel if you are new yeah thanks for watching